guys welcome back to my channel it is ebony shanae and i'm so happy to see you guys again um one thing that i struggle with is uh some some of my old friends or people that i'm not necessarily friends with no more they kind of say or have said in the past that it's as if i think i'm better than them or I think I'm better than people and um all I can say is expect that expect that because they may not understand that you have to let them go to allow yourself to grow they may not understand that and it's it's difficult it is because you may love that person you you have many memories with that person you have bonded with that person over the years but it is extremely vital to realize that they're not helping me grow or if they're not willing to have an open mind to growing with us in our journey together then i may have to let them go i may have to cut ties with them because i cannot afford that negative energy i cannot afford that person being uh down and out still doing the same things when i'm trying to grow so you cannot afford that because if you continue to stick around you may become stagnant you know so it's all about that thinking process and just really putting things in perspective because at the end of the day you should be trying to better you and what you need to do for yourself you know you should never uh want to be stuck in the same position and because they are stuck does not it does not make them a bad person it does not make them bad people it's just maybe they haven't come to their realization yet you know and that's perfectly fine but you've came to yours and you know what you can't allow and what you can't allow and if they are a part of what you can't allow then that is definitely a sign of moving on with your life you know and essentially what that means is uh i, I definitely believe that when you do that you plant seeds of growth you know um you're not gonna have the same friends that you had four or five years ago you know you may some friends will stick around because some friends are um gonna allow you grow they're gonna be proud of your growth they want to be a part of that journey and then you have other friends who are afflicted by that who feel some type of way, who don't necessarily, not only understand it, but they don't want to understand it. Now they don't like you. Now um, you're not their cup of tea. You know, and a lot of times, I think it is important to realize that a lot of people don't want to see you grow. And sometimes those are so-called friends. And it's sad to say, but that is the reality of life. You know, some people, uh, have insecurities and it ends up reflecting from within and it ends up you know reflecting outwardly and uh, that's not good that's not good at all because like I said if I'm happy if I'm doing this if I've been blessed with this and you're not necessarily happy a good percentage chance is the fact that they have all their own insecurities and it's reflecting so therefore i don't that's that's bad energy you know if we're not a friends enough to where you can accept my happiness and actually be happy for me i don't want to be friends with you i don't because i know the type of friend i am you know no matter where i am in my life i think or no matter where you are in your life um you should always be happy for others because what God is doing in your life is what he's doing in your life. And what God is doing in their life, that is what he's doing in their life. God has for you what he has for you. You were designed to be exactly what he wants you to be. So that's where comparison comes in. And truly, I say this to you, comparison is the thief of joy. You should never compare where you are in your life to where your friend is in her life or to where your friend is in his life. 
that's not fair to you because God is doing things that he needs to do in your life to get you where he needs you to be, you know? So, um, I think that that is normal sometimes to question, well, why I'm not here? Why I don't have this yet? Why I haven't been blessed with that yet? That is absolutely normal to question, question those things. But also it should be normal to check yourself for you to realize like, hey, look, you know what? I'm here because God has me here right now for a specific reason. I may not know what that reason is right now, but I know that it is part of a bigger plan and I should trust God, you know? And so when people's insecurities reflect um, on you, you know, it's kind of like, what did I do? What's going on? And it's not even you, it's them. They don't know how to take the blessing that just happened to you. They don't know how to take the new job that you just landed. They don't know how to take uh, the degree that you have. They don't know how to take the next level that God is bringing you forth in. And you know, it's not your fault, but me, I'm kind of a, a cut and dry person because I know what I hold and what I expect you to hold in a friendship because I expect myself to do the same thing. So if you can't be happy for me, then and, and knowing that I can be happy for you because we're friends, you know, it's. It, I think that that is a sign that it may be time to move on. You know, especially if that person cannot talk about it. Expect, especially if that person refused to express it and to say, hey, look, I messed up, you know. I kind of got caught up in my own insecurities. I kind of got caught up in my own downfalls. And I didn't know how to be happy for you. If they can't do that, if they can't be man enough or woman enough to do that, then they don't deserve you as a friend. You know, especially when you know that you are a good friend. That is a friendly reminder that, you know what? It may be time to move on. It may be time for me to leave you where you are. No beef, no hate, but I can't afford that negative energy. I cannot afford that, that hate when I've been your friend and I'll continue to be, be your friend when I've been there for you. I can't afford that, you know? And it actually brings me to a scripture, uh, and that scripture is so powerful, you know, because um, when you are talking about moving on from people, it's two ways that you can move on. You can move on still holding on to what they done to you or how they hurt you, or you can move on and actually forgiving and actually giving it to God. And I think that that is a huge struggle in everybody. You know, nobody can just, I truly believe that nobody can just forgive somebody like that. Absolutely not. We are human and we are flawed. We are not perfect. It is not easy to forgive, but it is worth everything in you to do it. It is worth your future. It is worth your goals. It is worth um, everything that God has for you to actually forgive and move on. And the scripture is so special. I love it so much and it is so powerful. Um, and it just helps you, guarantee you that this scripture will help you. It will help you start to grow. It will help you start to plant the seed of forgiveness. And I think that that is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. Um, and the scripture is, uh, um, and I'm just kind of pretty much paraphrasing, but it says, uh, for it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. Um, and that's Romans, uh, I think chapter 12 and uh, verse 19, I think. And the scripture is so powerful because um, God is telling you, he's reminding you, like it is written. He's telling you like, look, it is not for you to prosecute these people. It is not for you to hold on to this hurt. For I am the Lord, I will repay. I have your back. Give it to me. 
Give it to me and move on with your life. Give it to me and still love. Give it to me and still be happy. Give it to me and let it go. And um, that hits the core with me because it is so beautiful. You know, God is God. He is the almighty powerful. So the way he can repay for what your enemies or whoever, whatever they did to you, it, it, it's nothing compared to reminding you to give it to me and move on. I got it. I got it. And you will be blessed from it. And that's a true testament within. And that's something, like I said, that we all struggle with. But um, you got to kind of come to a point in your life where you like, you know what? I'm ready to move on. You know, my friend hurt me. She did me wrong. She backstabbed me. She did this, she did that. But I'm ready to move on. I can't harbor this hate or this hurt in my heart. I can't harbor it because it will come out in, in the things that I say and the things that I do. And I don't wanna live like that. So I think uh, I'm moving on from people and allowing people to, um, to allowing them to leave from your life. I think forgiveness is a major part of that, you know, and it is so unique and it is so needed and you kind of have to perfect that forgiveness in your life. You kind of have to figure out that formula of forgiveness and everyone has a different formula of forgiveness, you know, only you know how you can actually forgive and move on. Trust me, I I'm telling you from my point of view and my own experiences you need God to do it and it's not something that can just happen overnight it's something that that takes time but it is worth every day every hour every second of trying to uh, reach that goal of forgiveness um and truly I say to you that uh let this be a friendly reminder that it is okay to move on from people that mean me no good. It is okay to move on from people that really don't care for me, that really don't have my best interests. It is okay to move on from people that are really not happy for me. It is okay to move on from people who are friend frenemies, who really uh, act like they love me but really hate me secretly. That is dangerous. You know, and I think uh, when people show you who they are, you believe them, you believe them. You know, move on for the sake of you, for the sake of your uh, future. That's how you can benefit from that, by you moving on. You know, because if you continue to, if someone shows you who they are, you continue to allow them in, you're gonna continue to get hurt. There is no doubt about it. You know, there is no doubt about it. No doubt about it. So, um, Moving on from people that don't mean you any good, that are not truly happy for you, that cannot express their happiness for you, I think that that is healthy and I think that that is awesome. Absolutely. <laughs> and also, I think it is important to realize that everyone cannot go to the next level with you. That That's that is okay. It doesn't mean that you're better than. It just means that everybody is not meant to go. And so when you see those signs, then it's okay to let it go. It's okay to move on. It's okay. It's okay to drift to the next level. It is okay. <laughs> A kind of getting rid of the old and in with the new especially this is for people who is only trying to better themselves for people that know that they have toxic people in their life that um bring chaos and the gossiping and the the constant bad news and the constant this and the constant that everything that is negative it is okay to get rid of that because you want to enter into a new level a new season of growth and you want your surroundings to be healthy you want your surroundings to be positive you want your surroundings you know and everybody won't be positive in your life but try to get rid of as much negativity as possible uh, from people that you know mean you no good get rid of them uh, wisdom is free you know uh, and you have the choice to allow wisdom in your everyday life you know and I, I definitely believe that wisdom is just paying attention to people characters 
um, that, that don't mean you any good. And you're gonna have it all figured out, you're not. But of course, in all things pray, all things seek God and, and think about um, how he's done things, you know. Um, the blessed don't be with the miserable, and that's just point blank, period. So if they dislike you, if they hate you for moving on, that's between them and the Lord. You know, you know what you're doing it for, and you know that you're doing it for the best of your benefit. You know, it's helping you. You know, you don't have to hate them. You can still be cordial, but it's just time to move on. Th these people can't go where God is taking you, and it's that simple. You know, let this be motivation. Let this be confirmation for you. And all things, of course, seek God too. If you need confirmation, seek Him. He will give you an answer, you know. So I just want to thank you guys for tuning in to my um, my video today. And I just want to thank you so much. And please, please, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, um, Ebony Shanae. And don't forget to follow me, to keep up with me, to keep up with my vlogging, to keep up with what's going on in my life. And I'm just so excited for what God has planned for me and what he has planned for you. So you should smile every day despite what um, what is going on, despite the obstacles, despite the trials and the tribulations. Um, and I actually, I know I'm kind of off topic, but um, it was a song I was listening to by Yolanda Adams and it said, the battle is not yours. And she said something so profound, so profound. And it was like, uh, if you don't understand anything else, please understand that you've been set up by God to be blessed. I think that is so profound, that is so deep. Um, and let it simmer in your your spirit, let it marinate, and, and let it be a reminder that no matter what you are going through, God has a plan and his plan is bigger than your problem. It's bigger than your problem. So with that being said, thank you so much, guys. I love y'all. Just keep uh, tuning in to my channel. And I have so much more for you. So I will see you guys next time. <laughs>